<laughs> All right, so there's no heating yet, so we're doing our exercises to keep warm. <laughs> Sorry. Hi folks, this afternoon I was gonna give you a walk around the roof, show you how we've been getting on and what stage we're at. But it's just started raining and frankly, Sunday's my day off the roof most of the time. So we're gonna change plans and I'm also gonna talk about plans. First up, let's go and pick Jo up from her room because she is doing some work today and then we'll head down and discuss the big plans for the future. I guess I can give you a look at the Veilers. If you do want to see more of it, then Instagram's the place to be because we do try and put some updates on there each day. The latest is that the guttering's here. The soil pipe is down. I'm going to restore that and put it back up, hopefully. And we've nearly finished slating the front roof, so um, more updates to come. Aha! Uh -huh. Were you expecting me? No. What's going on? You could have a look at my lovely uh, oh, yeah. drawers, now in use. <laughs> this never went on YouTube actually, this is, it was on Instagram. This is the old um, architect's plan drawer we picked up. You did a bit of restoration on it and this where? is where it all lives. I thought what we'd do is take you down and you can show how you're going to go from your little box room, bedroom studio to the new makerspace, so uh, this might take a bit of imagination, but it is the next thing to happen once the roof is done. I think I didn't have imagination by now. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst we're up here on the landing, if anyone's new to the channel and you haven't seen any of the background of the house, this is what the original roof looks like, or looked like, and this is kind of where I'm pitching myself to, uh, to restore it back to, albeit with some slightly newer technologies in as far as we've got a membrane they didn't. Uh, but apart from that, we're pretty much going in for this. So you can see, they're the barge boards we've put back in. Ours are a little bit more decorative. We've gone for a slightly lighter colour. This was green originally. We, I've seen that on the old um, timber. But we're putting the ridge tiles back in, restoring the stacks. The bay window is going to be back to slate all bit. We're going to have a lead, uh, lead on the ridges here, on the hips. Um, but that's about it. So that is the original house as it stood. The utility room is looking positively lived in. Uh, we've still got to finish stuff, stuff off here, but this panelling project is going to happen uh, at some point in the next few months. Going to do a shaker style, both sides, a little bit like we did in what now is the playroom. You remember this shaker panelling, shaker style panelling, all the way around that room. We're just basically going to carry this on through, through the porch and out into the utility room. Before Jo comes down and gives us uh, a little tour around what she's got planned for this space, if anyone wants me to do, I'm not going to call it a workshop tour, but a bit of a walk around uh, just to show you the current setup in this space, what kind of tools and what things I'm using, what I'm not using, then let me know down in the comments and I can perhaps put out a short video just on a temporary workshop tour uh, until we get the new one set up out there. Right, so into the garage conversion. Right, so as you know, this is the workshop space, but it's always been a temporary, I've been the temporary custodian of the space. Because uh, it's gonna be Joe's, because it's all, uh, well, the end game was always for this to be a studio, maker space, craft room <laughs> for Joe. Um, my, workshop, it, my, my workshop, my workshop coincidentally is, is here. <laughs> is this concrete patch sat getting wet, looks going a bit green. Really, looks really homely. <laughs> yeah, lovely. It's got really high ceilings. <laughs> so that is, um, that's the next big project. Once the roof's done, I need to get building yeah. and we'll go into that in more detail. But this room then becomes... My space. Joe's HQ. What's got to go in here? Well, a lot of fabric. Um, as you saw, like my drawers, um, and I'm kind of thinking we want fabric, because I sell quite a lot of that now too, like all of them on boards wrapped around. And rolls, yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah, may, that wall might not be big enough, so it might need to go across that wall. But then we also want some So these product. are at three metres, aren't they? Over three metres, so it's really good for storage right up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so there's no heating yet, so we're doing our exercises to keep warm. <laughs> Sorry. I get cold we have very easily. We're plumbed in for a big radiator over there, but this whole, we have, well, it's done to building regs, but there's a load of insulation, floor, ceiling, everywhere. He so, knows the way to my heart. 
Yeah, yeah. So once it's warm, it stays warm. So yeah, it'd be really nice to have it all laid out and all have its place rather than having to get out different bits. Along here, I put three and or four double sockets. So if you've got your CNC, your cutter, my cricket machine <laughs> over there and ironing, heat press, all that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another thing we need to, this is just the subfloor, um, which was painted and it's held up fine. Um, so this is ready to go down whatever flooring we want. Now you want carpet. Yeah, I think it'll just like all your fabric, all the fabric and stuff so I don't traipse it back through the house. It will have the steps coming down into the room so that will yeah, break, break it up. up. It's not like we can have the matching, is it? I guess one thing is we've got this, we've got stairs to put in here and then that goes out and we're eventually around to the workshop so we might not want carpet there but we could go for a commercial carpet. Talk about you, you're yawning. Mm. It's a cold air. Joe is also going to take over a little bit of the editing for the channel and for the Instagram so be kind. page. <laughs> So what that means is that she spent all of this morning going through and finding all of the necessary videos to make some transformational before and after for all the rooms in the house. Which also means that we'll hopefully do a little bit of snagging to finish them to finish them off too. So it's kind of like a most of the rooms are about ninety five percent there. So yeah, it shouldn't take too long. Some rooms are like tickety boo. So um, the first one, what are you gonna do? Bathroom. I'm excited. It's my favourite room in the house. Not only do we have our baby in it, but it's just the nearest to finishing and it's nice colours and it's just, I love it. So love it. yeah, so transformation videos and you can do some shorts for Instagram. Instagram. A lot of the videos or video series we're going to condense down and make some kind of start to finish type ones. Mm -hmm. Possibly start them soon and we can mix them in with a bit of the roofing stuff just in case you're not into roofing because <laughs> I'm not. You might be like me. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, just to keep things varied at the moment. And then as soon as the roof's done, uh, the day that scaffolding comes down, then we will crack on with um, new projects. Now, drum roll, please. Jay's got a big reveal for you. <laughs> I thought you were going to hold it like this. <laughs> More roofing! <laughs> Made these little boards, even with the little, um, if you can do it yourself logo. You can have them personalised too if you wanted, like, Tim. Oh, like this one, like this, this. one. She made me one. It's never going to be big enough. I need like maybe 10 of these joined together for my to-do list. See that? So it's exactly the same. And we've cut these from the original slates, so the Welsh slates. So we've picked out some nice um, thicker ones and they're cut down, what did we go for? 12 by 10 yeah. in inches. Um, and they're going to be backed with MDF. We'll be able to buy them on our website um, and they'll be available until the first of December, that'd be your cut off point because we want to make sure that they're with you for Christmas presents if you're buying them for Christmas presents. Yeah. Um, we And especially as some people buy them from America and stuff. And I've basically punched two holes, countersunk those, and the board will go on the back just to give it a bit more strength and it'll sit nice and flat on the wall and hopefully post nice and securely and safely as well. So that is going to go up when? This week. Tonight. <gasps> Can we do it after this video? At the same time as this video, launch it. Wow, we really get lots done when the kids aren't around. <laughs> there are a few mugs left, but only like a handful. Now's the time. Get it before they go. That was okay. like the big Christmas rush last year, mugs. Yeah. So. Anyway, that's it folks. Links down below to the new blackboards. Hopefully we will get them out at the same time as this video. Are you going to do the outro? No. Oh. But thank you for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time. <laughs> You just want to say, keep on dancing. <laughs> if you can, do it yourself. What is your hobby? I don't know.